I just felt something that I've never felt before. Yes. Ever. I think we both just knew. It was just, she's it. That's the one for me. The moment those words, I have cancer, came out of my mouth. My heart just like dropped into my stomach. And I remember my life flashing before my eyes. I mean, immediately, immediately I started thinking that I really want to be around for my children getting married if they're going to have children. And I wanted to be with you into old age. <laughs> I remember thinking all those things. You know, I was very matter of fact and practical. You know, what, what does this mean? Let's sort of calm you down. It was hard. You know, let's just kind of find out what's going on and, and, and go from there. By the time I got home, you had already made so many calls. Maybe it's just sort of a classic male thing, but you know, I'm taking care of things. I'm doing something. It gave me a sense of comfort. Well, that was comforting for me because I just couldn't do it. I mean, I just couldn't, couldn't do it. We were going through this together, mm -hmm. you know, so I, I just felt that it would be impossible not to be there. I mean, the only times that, that you couldn't be there with me was when I was in the MRI machine, <laughs> you know, <laughs> or another mamma, or whatever. It's like, but you were there as much as anyone could be. We were together. It was as simple as that. We were pretty close even before this happened. Definitely. I would say even at that point, compared to a lot of people, pretty, pretty darn close. Yeah. But like in, in the early stages of things, did it have any kind of, you know, impacts or effect you know, on your love for me? In reality? Yeah, be real. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it didn't. I mean, in other words, I didn't start thinking about you know, what life would be like without you right. at all. You know, when you go through this, there's so many parts of it that feel like you don't have any control. As you know, I'm more of a type A personality. And, you know, I think what goes along with that territory for me is just that certain things have to be a certain way and or else it bothers me or whatever. When you had uh, radiation, you know, at least the first few times that you went, that it was really important for you to wear, to look good, to, you know, wear a nice pair of shoes, to be pair dressed up. <laughs> what meaning did that have for you? I got dressed up and kind of decked out because looking my best made me feel like I had some sort of control. Were you ever concerned? that I would find you less beautiful because of what you, the treatments that you had, what you went through? Well, that question is going to make me cry. It is making me cry because I never had that concern ever about you because that's who you are, David. Had I, like, just gone bald and just stayed bald, I am just 100% confident that you would not have felt that way. It would have been more how I was feeling about myself. You know, relationships don't exist in fantasy. You know, it's not a pop song, it's not a movie. You know, it's about like supporting each other and being together and accepting people's flaws and sort of yeah. helping somebody be a better person. You know, and I think that that's, we're, we're, I think we're pretty good at that. I'm glad I have you now and always. Good. You're my best friend. <laughs>